What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, first of all I would like to apologize to each and every one of you guys. I haven't been making videos in the past several months. That was because I was working across multiple projects as well as I was sick for a long time guys. Uh, but now thankfully I'm recovered and then uh, yeah I'm alright now so I thought I'd make and upload this video for you guys today. This video is rather like a clip on what we'll be building in my next video. Uh, this will be building a seller marketplace guys like just similar to Amazon where different sellers can like list their uh, sign up onto our platform as a seller and then list their products for sales whenever someone taps on one of the products and buys that product uh, then the seller would get the amount credited into his account as well as the application would take a collect a small fee for enabling the transaction uh, this is entirely handled by Stripe Connect and then I'm using that inside our Flutter applications to do that smoothly. So yeah, uh, first of all, I'll demo this app so that you guys can uh, get what we'll be building. Now, let's just register as a seller first, okay, on this platform. So we have this wonderful page here. I'm just signing up, register as seller. Tapping on the sign up button. As you can see here, another browser has opened up and we are like shown this page wherein it says Rajogan Partners with Stripe for Secure Payments and Financial Services. This is the actual name. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, here, here you can give the branding guys. Uh, uh, there is a small logo of uh, here and then there is my name Rajogan there, right? Instead of that, in a, in a real app, it would be the uh, shop's logo as well as the shop name there. And then it will say the shop name partners with Stripe. Say for instance, it's Amazon. It will be Amazon logo and Amazon there. Amazon partners with Stripe for secure payments and so on. Okay, you, I, I hope you get my point. Now we need to like, I'll just use the test phone number and then give a real ID, email ID here. You need to use a real email ID. Just tap on continue. It will ask you to sign in into that particular email. That is, you need to have a Stripe account in case you want to sign up to this platform. I'm just signing up as a seller guys, that's it. I'll just use test code. And then it'll ask me to enter details about my business. So I'll just create a new business, United States individual continue. Here it'll ask the account number, I'll just use test account. Okay, as you can see here, it's asking me to review the details. And then if I tap on submit, a new Stripe account would get created. And the details, the seller details, seller ID of that would uh, be uh, returned back to our app, which we'll be storing in uh, Firebase. Okay, so uh, should I just show that so that I can, okay, uh, hold on. I'll just show that, show that in Firebase so that you can, you guys can get a better idea. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, this is our user profile, the first seller, sales staff, whatever we did, and the role is seller, right? So there are two roles, one is the seller as the other one is the buyer, okay, the regular user, okay. Uh, this is the seller ID, let's just check if it is there. J1 is a day, that's how it ends, right? So let me go to Stripe Connect, I'll show that here as well so that you can see that it's actually created and then it's enabled for receiving payments. See, this is the one that got created. As you can see here, J1ZA. That's exactly this account, right? So now let me quickly create another seller so that you guys can, or, or, or first you'll add a product for the seller, okay? Now if you go to the storefront, there are still no products, right? If you tap now, since the user is already logged in, it'll just show this page. Unless the user logs out, it won't take us to back to the I'll quickly add a product here. Product name, uh, tote bag, tote bag, description, uh, stylish, tote bag, and then price, nineteen ninety nine. Okay, and then save, choose an image, tote bag. Okay, save. The product is getting saved, let's just wait, give it a second. 
nice right so now products currently on sale you can see the tote bag as well as the price there probably should have changed the font <laughs> anyway yeah it's 1999 if i just click on view storefront now you can see that there is this tote bag 1999 the product if i tap on this you can see the details as well right the tote bag and you can see stylish tote bag seller name sales star this should have been styled a little bit more but everything would work here i can choose a different color obviously i don't have a different colored image so yeah i can choose a different size as well in case this is a shirt anyway <laughs> yeah uh, uh, the, you get the point right you get the point you can see the details that's it now uh, let me quickly create another seller and then add another product so that you, i can show that both of these sellers are okay wait let me quickly create another seller i'll just sign out here now if i go here i'm being shown the this page sign up register as seller All right, as you can see here, we are registered in second seller as well. This is the second seller test.com. See this K L A H for you. That's the ID, right? Let's just go back here. Yeah, K L A H for you. The second seller. Is so we have created these two sellers, guys. Let's now buy uh, a product, buy a product from one of these guys. Okay, so here I'll add another product as well. Back, back. Mm, idle, no, ideal for tricking price uh, $14.99. Save, choose an image, backpack, okay, just show you. Okay, save. Let's just give it a second. Fine, now the product gets listed here, right? If I just go and view the storefront, now I can see two products. This was added by Sales Star, the first seller that we created, and the backpack was added by the best seller, the second seller that we created, right? So now we have two products inside our app. Let's go ahead and buy one of them. Let's buy the tote bag first. I'll just tap on buy now. Okay, I'm getting this information where uh, this page where I need to enter my card details. I'll just enter my email. Rajatest.com. Okay, and then give the test card. No, not this one. If I tap on pay, watch what happens guys. If I tap on pay, it's processing. And if the payment is successful, it, it'll automatically redirect me back to the app and show the screen. Paid successfully and this one. If it's a failure, it will show payment failed and then it will show the reason as well. Now I'll just tap on go back. That's it. I have bought the tote bag now, right? So if I get here, tote bag was sold by the this seller. What was his ID? J1 is a day that seller, the sales star. If we go back to connect, here I should see J1 is a day getting that what was the price of the tote bag? 19.99. See, you can see that the amount has been credited into his account. And then not only that, we have also collected a fee, a small fee for enabling that particular purchase. So yeah, the fee, collected fee details you can view here. This is the fee that the platform has taken. So the total amount was $20, $19.90 was being passed over to the seller and this is the fee that was collected by the platform. Anyway, uh, so probably you should display that along with the fee here. And then let's now try buying the backpack. Backpack is $14.99, right? I'll just tap on buy now. Uh, 
I'll just tap on pay and go back here. Paid successfully and once again I get this symbol, right? I should have probably shown you a failure scenario, I guess. Anyway, let's not worry about it. Here you can see that it's 14.90 now. If you get in here, you can see that 14.90 goes to the user, whereas the total amount collected was $15 and the collected fees was 0 0.10, which is the fees that uh, normal flat fee that we connect uh, collect from each and every uh, each and every purchase. Usually what marketplaces do is they won't collect like a normal flat fee. They'll collect a percentage. Okay. So if, if it's, if it's a, if it's a transaction that is involving hundred dollars, then they'll collect $1 at the same time. If it's a transaction that involves a thousand dollars, then they'll collect $10 and so on and so on. You get my point, right? It's like one percentage or not even one percentage. It's like 0.25 percentage or 0.5 percentage of the amount of each transaction. Uh, I mean, each product sold each product sold. So uh, yeah, that's how the fees is usually done. Anyway, this is just a demo demonstration video where I can show where I show you guys that uh, such apps can, could be built with just Flutter and Stripe. And not only that, we also have all our products neatly displayed here. And then if you had registered as a buyer, you would be able to like, probably I should have asked the user to sign in before buying, but this was like a quick, che quick checkout, express checkout without the user having to sign in. In the original app, uh, the user would be asked to sign in before he's able to purchase anything. Anyway guys, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys in this app. There are a lot of improvements that can be made in this app, but I just wanted to show you the base functionality. As you can see here, you can collect payments from users using this particular thing. And not only that, you can see uh, who bought that uh, product and everything. Not only this, you can also send back this Stripe session ID back to the uh, Firebase inside back inside the app wherein you can like play around with that. And uh, once the order is received, then automatically the shipping module will get triggered and that functionality would get started as well, which I haven't written here, which I haven't shown here. So yeah, guys, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, this is the app that we'll be building in the next video. The next video would be like a rather long one. It's like around 80 minutes, I think. It will be more than 80 minutes, I think. So yeah, get ready for that, guys. If you if you like this kind of content wherein I show like building actual apps instead of just UI screens, just let me know and I'll try to do more stuff for you guys. You can even build this into a complete app. I have like role authentication, role management, and uh, I have also brought in the Stripe functionality. Uh, I'll build like a even cooler UI and then like try to build this out into a complete app if you guys want it. We are also using the for state management. We are using providers. Uh, sorry, Riverport guys. This entire app uses Riverport for state management, and uh, we are also using a couple of other cool libraries as well, which I'll probably show in the bigger video, the actual building video where we build this app. Okay, so yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned for the next video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can watch more cool stuff like this and. Uh, Thank you guys for supporting me even though I haven't been making videos a lot of guys have been visiting my previous videos watching it and then asking me continuously on how uh, on when I'll be making a next upload so thank you for all of that guys uh, and uh, yeah hit the subscribe button hit the, hit the bell icon uh, hit the thumbs up button if you really like this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye.